My name is Rod Compton, Customer Service Engineer for Hawker 125 Model Series. In this video, I will demonstrate database loading using the DBU-5000 installed in Hawker Series Collins ProLine 21 aircraft. This video provides an overview of how to load navigation database using the DBU-5000. The data loader portion of the DBU-5000 transfers data files between a universal serial bus or USB memory device and the aircraft line replaceable units, or LRUs. The DBU comes equipped with protective door. The protective door may be a sliding door or a flip top door. The DBU also comes equipped with two USB ports, each with a tricolor LED. Apply power to the aircraft, turn on the inverters and the radio bus 1 and 2. When power is applied to the DBU-5000, the tricolor LEDs will be yellow as the DBU initializes itself and progresses through a self-test. After the AHARS has completely aligned and the LED on the DBU-5000 is green, the DBU is now ready for use. Insert the USB memory device into either of the two ports. Please do not remove the USB device when the LED is blinking yellow. The DBU has accepted the device when the LED has returned to green. If the DBU is red, the unit may have failed or the USB device is correct. Press the Control Display Unit CDU Index or IDX button to access the index page 1 of 2. Press the Line Select key adjacent to the MCDU menu to access the MCDU menu. I would like to mention here that not all installations will have the MCDU menu page. In this case, the database files must be loaded from the DB Disk Ops page. Also, the MCDU menu page display layout depends on the equipment installed in the aircraft. So your aircraft's CDU may not look exactly like the one being shown in the video here today. Press the line select key adjacent to the DBU to access the APHIS slash DBU menu page. Again, your aircraft CDU may be different depending on whether or not APHIS is installed. On the APHIS slash DBU menu page, press the line select key adjacent to Available LRU to access the Available LRU page. Press the line select key adjacent to the Update list to refresh the available LRUs. During the refresh cycle, updating list shows on the CDU display along with the rotating asterisk. I would like to point out, while we wait, a word of caution when loading performance, vSpeed, and navigation databases into a newly installed FMC. They should be done in that order, performance, vSpeed, and then the navigation database. Please see Rockwell Collins Service Information Letter 523-08 08873 for details. Once the refresh cycle is completed, a list of available LRUs is shown. Press the line select key adjacent to the LRU needed to be updated. Performance, vSpeed, and navigation databases are loaded in the FMC or the flight management computer. Charts and EMAPs are loaded into the file server unit or FSU and electronic checklists and maintenance data tables are loaded into the MDC or Maintenance Diagnostics computer. For this example, FM1, FMS1 will be updated. Once the LRU line select key is pressed, the available loads page is shown and finding loadable files. Once the DBU identifies compatible load files, a list of available loads for the LRU is shown. Press the line select key adjacent to the data file needed to be loaded, for this example, J7 Americas. The data load process starts and the data load progress page is shown. Checking files is shown as the DBU accomplishes a file check, then waiting for LRU is briefly shown, then replaced with load in progress. A rotating asterisk and a load progress percentage in green text shows. Once the load is complete, progress will change to white text. 100% verifying files is replaced by load complete. The rotating asterisk is removed. Select the available LRU to return to the available LRU menu page. Notice here that FMS1, FMS2, and MDC are the only available LRUs. 
This airplane is not configured to use electronic charts, and so the FSU is not available for data load. If FSU is available to load, choose it for loading eCharts and eMaps following the same steps as before. The MDC is shown here to load the pilot's electronic checklist if needed. Again, following the same steps as before, choosing the LRU to load, then selecting which file to load. Notice the check database message in the scratchpad area. This message appears since we have updated only the one FMS for the purpose of this video. Here is how to clear the message. Press the index button. Press the status line select key. Notice the active database is out of date and shown in amber. Press the line select key adjacent to the second database showing the correct data range. The database now populates in the scratch pad. Next, press the line select key adjacent to the active database. Now we have the message FMS independent op. To clear this, we need to navigate to the FMS control page. Press the line select key adjacent to index, choose the next key, Press the FMS control line select key. Press the line select key adjacent to sync independent. Press the FMS one for the master and the requiring pending appears. Green sync is now visible and the message clears. We have now successfully loaded the updated database into the appropriate LRU using the DBU 5000. Thank you for watching today. For further information on using the DBU-5000, you may reference the DBU-5000 Operator's Guide from Walkwell Collins. If you have any questions regarding the information covered in this video, please feel free to contact me at 316-517-4178 or the Technical Support Hotline at 1-800-429-5372. Thanks for watching.